26 years ago this month, flooding turned streets into waterways in the small city of Willard on the western edge of Shawnee County, where 14-year-old Jimmy Ditch retrieved a trash can. Flooding also occurred at Solomon, about 95 miles west of Topeka, where these two youngsters went out in a rowboat. This is Tim Rencher, the history guy for CJ Online, talking about the historic flooding that ravaged parts of Northeast Kansas in July 1993. Kansas was among nine states affected by flooding that claimed at least 50 lives and did billions of dollars worth of damage. Nearly 11 inches of rain fell that month in Topeka, shown here, compared to a monthly average for July of 3.83. Fortunately, the city's levees kept the Kansas River contained. But the flooding brought more serious effects to Solomon, shown here, which is located along the Smoky Hill River near its confluences with the Saline and Solomon Rivers. The city of Solomon's main street and about 15 homes were flooded for a week. The rain filled up Tuttle Creek Reservoir near Manhattan, forcing authorities to open its floodgates, shown here. That brought flooding to some low-lying areas, which included Manhattan's Dix Edition, where these women worked in knee-deep floodwaters to place sandbags. An American Red Cross shelter was established at Manhattan. This photo shows it being visited by then-Governor Joan Finney. The opening of the Tuttle Creek floodgates was followed by flooding in some areas along the Kansas River downstream. Those included North Lawrence, shown here, where various businesses sustained damage. These boys watched the Kansas River rise from an outlet mall, which was located in Lawrence on the river's south side. This is Tim Rencher, the History Guy, for CJ Online.